Welcome everybody, my name is Robert and today we are going to cover the 12 easy steps uh, to creating an e-learning program uh, with Rhino XR University. So we're really excited to do this uh, presentation. It's going to be in a four part video series. So let's get started. So step one, start with why. Do a needs analysis. The first step in creating an e-learning course is to define why your potential students need this training. It also helps you understand what you want to achieve. So conduct a needs analysis. The analysis can range from simple interviews to more comprehensive and detailed data collection and understanding where your student is currently lacking in knowledge. Results of the analysis. The result of analysis is a roadmap for the program design and what the learner wants to achieve as they know what they really need rather than the creator of the program assuming. Analysis shows you how to achieve the desired end result. This also makes it less likely to create a failed course. By analyzing first, you can rule out the main issues and get to the heart of the problem faster when you casually throw something together and trust it works. Make sure you ask yourself these questions before proceeding to the next step. The reasons are as follow. What problems and challenges does the program solve? What do you want to achieve with your e-learning program? And what kind of results do you expect? How does it help your students achieve their goals? Step 2. Know your audience. Writing and creating a course for a group of beginners and starting with an advanced jargon and technology can be a challenging method of teaching, I must say. As you are just starting out, you don't know your target audience yet. Remember to keep things as simple as possible. Designers often embark on a project that treats their audience with a unique approach to spreading information quickly. Take into account the technical ability, level of understanding of the students, and how they will use the course content you have created. By knowing your audience first and learning what they already know and need to know, you can create better and more useful content. Step 3. Content Analysis Create the right content for the right audience. Once you've decided who your audience is, it's time to analyze your content. No matter how well designed your course is, if the content you share has limited value, you may be wasting valuable time for no reason. Remember this step is very important. You need to pick up the problem defined in step one and target what specifically solves it. To do this, you must analyze the content and break it down into categories and types. Categories as declarative, procedural, and situated. Types are the fact, concept, process, procedure, principles, interpersonal skills, and attitudes. Last one is the structure. Defining these categories and types also let us see how the information is interconnected and how important each piece is, what category is most prevalent, information gaps, and how information should be arranged. Please click the next video and we'll see you there.